Hello, I am Halix, and this is an Overwatch 2 Brigida Super Jump Guide for the map Blizzard World. If you're not already aware, Brigida can send herself flying off certain slopes in the game. This has been dubbed a Super Jump by the community, and some other heroes can do it too. Technically, any object that has a slant, meaning that you fall off of it and can't stand on it, can be Super Jumped off of. However, the extent to which you jump varies. Either way, let's get right into the guide. For this Super Jump, you want to try aiming for the corner of the envelope on the letterbox. I always bash as soon as I jump, only like a split second later. The super jump is super easy, usually I just aim for the section of the roof that's parallel to the high ground that you're going to. If you're holding this balloon stand, I find that this is a good way to escape. These two are super easy, you're basically just aiming for the middle section of the rock. Super jumping to the statue is actually quite hard. Um, this is something you kind of have to gauge yourself. I would just practice a lot. I still don't quite understand what lets me do it. I also thought that this was a notable escape route. I really like using the super jump for when I'm coming back from spawn. It lets me avoid some sight lines and easily get to the high ground behind point. This can be a good way to get behind enemies or holding this high ground. If there's like a solo hit scan, it's a good way to contest. I find this is a good ambush rally spot. No one sees it coming, and it almost always works. By jumping onto this sign, you're able to actually reach this high ground all the way up here. It's a really good way to contest Widowmakers. You can also reach this high ground to a lesser extent by using any of the turret legs. Again, by using the sign, you're able to reach the high ground that surrounds the crystal. I find this to be exceptionally useful, but going to this high ground can be a little bit risky because you are in sight lines of most hit scans. You just have to be careful about how you're using it. This spot isn't super useful, but it does let you hit the roof. I always try aiming for the middle of that like metal thing. Here you just want to glaze along the side of the right rock. You only want to touch it a tiny bit, uh, it won't work if you just completely avoid it though, so be careful. This one's super easy, uh, it's just a nice way to get to the high ground. Keep in mind that I'm sure that these aren't the only spots available, this is just what I came up with. With Rally you can reach a lot more spots that you wouldn't normally be able to, so if you get creative I'm sure you can find some spots of your own. While this tech is fun, I actually don't think it's all that useful. I like literally never used it in my climb to top 500, uh, so if that gives you an idea of you know, how important it is to break, don't worry too much about if you can or cannot do it. It definitely can provide a boost to your gameplay, but it's not going to make or break. Huge thanks to Cyberpilot, he's another break main, uh, for showing me this trick. I would not have known that it existed if he did not tell me, and his Twitch is in the description. If you're interested, I do stream on Twitch on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays, and my Twitter is in the description of this video. Depending on how much traction this gets, I might make a series, but um, I don't know if there's too many spots to super jump on outside of this map. Either way, thanks for sitting through this, and if you do anything interesting, tag me in a tweet. I will watch it.